Alright, so we are here on KGS. I'm playing a 9Q, and it occurs to me that my name plates are not really set up for this right now. Sorry about that. So I have to say, I'm white, playing a 9Q, because I think today we want to show some love to the lower end of the spectrum, the DDK, the close to DDKs, uh, up to maybe the 5Q or so. So this is a very unorthodox move, and I'm going to treat an unorthodox move by simply playing nice and orthodox. That is, I'm going to enclose. He enclosed. Enclosures beget extensions, so I'm also going to take away his extension. It acts as a little bit of attention for myself, not the direction that I want, but it denies him what he's looking for. He's doing it twice now. I'm very much confused. Seems to be his thing. Maybe he doesn't like being pincered. He finds that if he plays here, and his opponents are going to generally not respond with the pincer. But that's really a bad thing. That's really, really, really a bad thing. Because maybe he doesn't like pincers because he's weak to answering pincers. But you don't get better at answering pincers by not putting yourself in a position where you can be pincered. So... He's harming his own play, if that's the reason he's playing this way. If you know pincering is normal, or anything is normal, ko is normal, uh, fighting is normal, influence is normal, territory is normal, but you don't respond to one of them particularly well. Putting yourself in a position where you never have to actually, you know, deal with that is not going to make you a better player. It's just going to kind of, like, put a temporary fix on a problem that's getting worse, especially if you're improving while the situation isn't improving. So, gotta be wary of that. Let's see what he does now. He needs a top. A pincer. What does he do when he's pincered now? to me. Oh, well, honey. Honey seems good. It's very strange. I had a frame skip there. Apologize for that. Not sure what that's going to do to my uh, recording. But yeah, I had a frame skip two minutes ago. All right, so now he's going to try and go in my corner. I will, of course, deny such things. He does not deserve my corner. I defended my corner. So now what's he gonna do? He has to jump away. It's the only thing that he can do. And before he jumps away, don't jump away yourself, because you can still give him a chance to make shape or do things like that. Make sure you hit him first, because if he ignores you, you, got, you cut straight through, nice, simple, and easy. Now he's heavy. Don't drop down thinking you're going to play here, because if you play here and he attacks you, that's not what you wanted to do. And making him heavy here, or trying to make him heavy here, only to let him get infinite shape attacking you, is not the goal. So, I'm going to extend. It's forcing, and I'm never invading that large knight anyway. So this is free. There we go. And then from here, I've got a three stone wall. So I'm going to go one, two, three, plus one. So there you go. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Couldn't be easier. He has two areas of concern. The top, which is not alive yet. The left, which is weird. Connect. Trying to push through a three stone <laughs> trying to push through saving my stone. Uh, this is kind of similar to as if um, I don't even know. Like you headbutt yourself into an area you know that you can't cut. Or if you push into an area that you know you can't cut from. Well, why did you do that? <laughs> now, I don't want him to play here because it forces me to come out and then maybe I have to kill him. Instead, I'm going to go and play here. It'll give me the attachment endgame. And it forces him to connect up. 
Gives me a bit more corner for myself. Okay. I'll respond because he attached to me. He's going to extend, and then I'm going to extend. Or he's going to do that. Didn't anticipate. I'll target. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Now, if we were going to go for a aggressive fight this game, we'd target here. He'd take or connect, and I would connect. And group one and group two are still disconnected. And then we've achieved pretty much what we were looking for. Instead, I'm going to... Get my weakest groups from extra shape. So I think that's a good thing to do most of the time. I'm debating about that and just jumping out again. Because I don't really want to play here. Have him cap me and then take one stone. Tell you what, I'm going to go and take Tengen. I think it's a pretty strong move right now. Pretty strong move. He took. My stone's now in trouble. So I will uh, brrr, play the connection. Okay, I've got Sente again. Hmm. I'll extend here because the Hane, the head of the three stones, is a thing. I'll make the extension over here. Because he can extend and force me to respond. So I took away one of his forcing moves. That's why that area is large. Not because I have air now I've got now, blah, 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 blah. Not because I now have Aji in his corner. Right? I can evade his corner now. I can. That's not why I did it. I did it because he had a forcing move at N3. So I'm taking that forcing move away from him. Stone's being hurt, gonna respond. So it's that force move away from him. Same. Hanai had two and three. Once we get into fights, we just go back to Proverbs. He's leaning on me. Okay, I'll respond. He's extending. Well, he doesn't want me to double high had two and three sounds, so I'll respond. And you could say, oh, you're doing that because you're getting influence. You're only doing this because, like, not because of Proverbs. Because you you want the influence so you can lean over here and do things and things over and things and things. No. I don't care about that. I'm just looking at Proverbs. And you might be saying, oh, no, 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 no. You're really, really, really doing that one because you can build up here. And it's like, no, because I'm listening to Proverbs, I can do these things. But I'm not doing them because I can do them. I'm doing them because the Proverbs are helping me understand that I can do them. If that makes any sense. So here, yeah, we got middle, we got influence in the middle. Because he let me honey the head of his stone. So of course I got influence. But I'm not like reading deeply here to see, ooh, what can I do to get influence so I can do this, that, and the other. No, I'm just doing what? Is relatively basic. Um, I'm leaning towards actually playing here just to f finish developing this. But there's also a thing down in here. So here's where I'll cheat. I'm going to poke at him. Will I ever need this move again? I don't know. But I'm going to do it, then I'm going to defend myself. And now you've got territory. We've got a bit of influence here. We've got a couple of points. 5, 10, 15 if we're lucky. Okay. Now what? Now, if I play here, always think about Sente. Regretfully, nowadays, uh, this is the era of Sente, so you always have to keep that in mind. What is Sente? What is not Sente? 
If I play here, he plays here, I respawn, not Sentai. If I play here, he turns, I probably drop down, that could be Sentai. But if I connect here, then this is an elephant eye. I push up. He hurts. So if I play here, he might respond here. That can be Sente for me. Just like so. And now with Sente, I can play a large move. But it's because I was thinking about how to respond to get Sente. And I was able to get Sente. <clears throat> So now what? What now? Um, he should come in from above. O oh, thirteen, I'm thinking. I'll probably shoulder hit it to keep my the bulk of my terror. Hmm. Big end game, but the kind of end game that we're not actually ready for yet. Because he's starting to get one stung, right? This area here is what he's dealing with. Like what, three, six, nine-ish area? Right, right, right. But if I play here, I can threaten that too. So this seems okay. Huge area, huge area. What else is large? Making sure that this stone is cut off and that he has his own area in here is very, very big. So maybe even playing over here. Poke at this. That would be big. Poke here into there. Why not? Just take territory. That'd be nice. So many points. But he's giving me Sente again. I'll drop down. I'll give him Sente back. I'll give back to him. What do you do now? Okay. Reduction. Reduction makes sense. I'm going to bamboo to strengthen. Now what? Go back and play here. Or even here. And stays back to the one stone. He's been taught that this is really big. And it is. It's just not really big in the area of the game that we're in. That's a little bit further. If you're playing like things like this before move 100, uh, probably too small. Probably too small. Probably too small. So I'll connect. And that one move. Think about that. If he had played here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 maybe. Is that one point worth 14 points? It's not. It's really not. If I'm getting extra stone, extra points by by expanding out here, then it's 14, 16, 18. Are we giving up endgame? Is it 20? So big, so big. If he clamps, I'm hoping he sees the clamp. Because he can play like here into here. And if I go here, he goes here. An Atari into an Atari. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Oh, did I? Yep, we're done with that. Okay. <clears throat> 600,000 views. Let's go. Let's, let's listen to that. Ooh, that's loud. Oh my god, that's loud. There we go. So now, he can reduce me a little bit. That's fine. Also, large moves are over in here. Right. Can't play here for a defensive move, though. It's tempting. Because when I connect, I can push up. And then there's a me and cutting point. So you're better off just going and connecting solidly here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, very tempting. But now he has to play there anyway. Mm -hmm. And that is... Gote, remember. I always have to about Sente. So I'll play here. It's a big one. Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay. And then duck in his corner. Corner is big. Get that invasion in. Oof. Huge. So huge. Um I'll lightly poke. Lightly poke, lightly poke. Um Doesn't quite work. I can go here into here, but that's okay. We're not gonna call them on little things. Only the big ideas. Did you give away Sente? Are you playing Gote? How do we know we have Sente? How do we know something's Gote? Those are the focus when we play players um, around this rank. Not, uh... oh, ha ha ha, he missed, a, he missed that little cut point and end game on the first line for like two extra points. Now I'm gonna take all of the stones off the board. We're not, we're not interested in that. We're not interested in that. How do we have Sente? How do we have, how do we know we have Sente? What is, what isn't? Hmm. Okay. Not bad. I'll harass him a little bit here. Sente. So I can jump. Jump's bad. For him. Oh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Pretty strong, pretty strong. Does he see it? Does he see it? Does he see it? There's a cutting point here. Doesn't see it. Mmm. I was gonna reward him with that one too, because when I played when he played here, I had to bend. So he was right. There was Achi here. When he plays here and I play here, the cut works. He actually spent the moves to get it to work. Nice try though. Cause I thought that was I thought that was really good for a 9Q. If he had like seen if I play here, then I can cut. He protects the two stones. I cut again. He descends. He's cut off. He loses all everything on top of the board. That's an that's an amazing that's an absolutely amazing uh, read. If he had seen that as a nine Q, good, good on him. Good on him. Had some hot chocolate today because it is like negative two degrees Celsius where I am. Lovely snow in our forecast. Yep, yep, yep. Sente, though. Gotta protect. Certainly is getting warmer. Er, idiot. You didn't just say that. Certainly is getting colder. Ugh. Still is a bit warmer than usual, though, I have to say. Now, some of you live in areas where... The idea that, like, yeah, it's only negative two degrees Celsius. Whew, what a what a warm winter. But it's usually colder than that over here. Usually a little bit. Usually a little bit. So these cut points are protected. So I can extend again. You can jump if you want to. It's better. I was going to poke at him a little bit. He can hot this one, though. Because I tar, he takes. I, yes. Because I can't play here, right? I can play here, he takes. I can play here, he connects. But I can't play here to finish him off. So that one works. That one works. I'm going to give him Sente. Like so. Now he could play here. I'm playing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The rest of this is just going to be endgame. So I'm probably going to fast forward throughout the rest of it. And then I'll see you in review.
I'll go in review. So I won by 20 points. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is very, very unusual stuff here. Very, incredibly unusual stuff. Like, I don't see the point in not approaching close. Because let's say I do pincer. Worst case scenario, pincer. And you get my corner then. And this can grow. White? We don't know what, we don't know what white gets yet. What white's getting yet. It's not, uh, it's not scary. So it plays here. I put away. It's away extension. He did it again. He's helping his group, which is okay. But it's in a weird position because it's only a two space. But three space looks strange. I could rather just play here and like hope we can do something with this later. This seems, this seems a bit too small. Then that's okay. Attaching to the side makes me stronger, which continues to hurt his stone, which I don't like that either. This should be like either a jump out or maybe some kind of attachment. Anything to, to settle the weak stone. Because this, this was his attempt to settle the weak stone. But the problem here is he's really, really heavy. So if I play here, the entire thing is under attack, severely now. And this is specifically being pointed out for you aggressive types who I'm sure you guys really, really love uh, seeing how things can be attacked and killed and things like that. And this is, this is a good chance. This is an excellent chance. I'm not saying you will kill it. It can probably try to live. But it's going to hurt everything around it while it's doing it. Because like here you can see he had to ignore my damage to his one stone. And as a result, he's now a very, very tiny little shape over here. So this is no territory, this is no territory. Comparatively, this so far is no territory, but you saw in the, light, in the game, one connection, suddenly it's territory. It's more territory, in fact, that he got over here or he got over here. So something has gone drastically wrong, considering white's now the one making them more territory, despite black going first. And black is usually the one that gets more initial territory, more initial potential. And that's why the whole concept of Comey exists. Because the minute black plays a stone, he has X points, and white's behind. So white catches up and plays a stone, then black plays another, then white's behind again. So to counter that, you know, we... We give Comey to white to kind of even things up a bit. But here, we're like 40 moves into the game, and we're rapidly approaching this thought that, you know, white's got the more territory than black does. That's a problem. So this all connects up. We take this to the point away, because like I mentioned, this is Ente, right? Right, right, right? And then he can come out and play here, now this could be a tough game. Black, white didn't go hard against black. And now black's starting to uh, harass potential. Might have to throw an invasion point in here. Or continue trying to develop something. What score estimator say? Overvaluing the middle, but it's close. So instead he's pushing me into the middle, making me stronger in the middle. So we just keep developing. And he, unfortunately, did not do the same thing against white. When white played here, we could go, hey, look at that. Territory, massive amount of it. Right? But instead, too small endgame, too early at move 80. It's not where we were. It's not where we were. So it's not in really big points. And then there was little things that he missed. You, depending on uh, what speed I time lapse the uh, end game on things like this for example there's that or if you're a real dick whoops here here into here take this two stones that could be a thing who does that one that gets killed so little things like that uh, another little thing yeah here when I responded to this one 
kill it. That'd be amazing. Be like, way to go. Way to go. Can this live? Nope. All dead. So I have to get two stones. He missed it though, unfortunately. I gave it two chances. Um, and then in Endgame, he said that that was not Sensei, and he was very wrong about that. Because that's just dead. And then he did it again on the bottom left, right? Over in here. I played here. That, but that's... Ah, can't play away. Can't play away. Can't play away. Well, actually, no, that doesn't even work. Is that's an Atari. So now it's just dead in Gote. Can Atari here too if I want to, I guess. Yeah, it's just dead in Gote. I can play here. He Atari's me, we take. So not good. Not good. A couple of end game mistakes. Big end game mistakes. Really drastically I changed the score. Not just 20 point thing anymore. Now it's suddenly it's like whew, 30, 40, 50, 60. So hope you enjoyed today's game. It's a good chance that that will be our only game today. I don't want to play again on KGS yes, because every win you essentially rank up one or two. And I kind of want to keep this around for a little bit while longer. I might want to play free games or something. I'm not really sure. So I'm not going to play on here again. Um, all right. So you can see that I am on Tygem. I'm playing a 9Q. <clears throat> Since we just play a 9Q on KGS, let's go ahead and change up a little bit and also play a 9Q on Taijem. Playing a Jaseki in the bottom right, as we like to do. And when we play this low, as mentioned previously, we just try to focus on the large moves and not really fighting quite so much. Uh, this is trying to get an extension into places. Now, this is a tough one. If he gets an extension or an enclosure here, he has an enclosure and potentially an extension in two directions, whereas if he gets one here, he only has it in one. So I am going to approach on this side and block this side from getting ye old enclosure. So that's interesting to take note of. Um, this immediately shuts down the game, but I'm not going to do it. I'm actually just going to let him get away with that one for now because we're playing a 9Q. And then from here, because he can't let me hide ahead of two and three stones, I'll probably take my enclosure after this, like so. Okay. Things are going pretty straightforwardly now. And you might say, you've got to take advantage of the bottom left hand Jaseki mistake, because that is something that only nine Qs do. You're wrong. I've seen Dons do it. It's just a weird little uh, glitch that a lot of people have uh, in their playing. So, you know. It's a thing. I will take my extension and block his kind of extension dealio while getting closer to his corner. He seems to not care. Gonna hide ahead of two and three stones. Double honey. Uh huh. Take that little stone. Also injures his other stone. Don't let him take my stone. Threaten to take his stone. Getting fourth lane territory. Not bad. I'll just keep taking some territory. And then maybe do a little bit of a defense measure here, like so. So we've got all this for territory, this for territory at the moment, and this for territory. Okay. So sector lines are now here and here. I will shoulder hit this one, playing around the outside of it. Easy little shoulder hit. Simple, simple, simple. Now, you could ask yourself, how much of this do we really need to reduce? 
And let's see, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So like 30 points over here. So if he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9, okay. 18, well, I mean minus 1, but plus 1. So it's kind of equaled out, right? Uh, so 9, 18. Ooh, do I want to hide that? One second. Um, I do. Right, so 9, 18, 27. Interesting. So far, we're not reaching the 30. Now we do. But we also have more territory. So we don't need to really freak out very much, do we? And Comey. Factor in Comey. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Comey. Upper right, maybe 20 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Rut row. We didn't quite get to 20, did we? And now I will make sure that I keep my territory by defending like so. Okay. I will push them away so I can keep these for points. This is more for uh, solid points, solid territory now, rather than moyos and things like that. Don't Hane, because then you can push here, force a response, and then play something. If you play something else right now, I can Hane, because I've already made myself strong, like so. We've got a base for this. We have a corner base kind of dealio, right? So I'm able to cut that little thing. He's poking my cutting point, but he can't really leave, can he? Not so much, huh? So let's go ahead and just save ourselves. And save ourselves. Make sure we're connected. OK, Altari. And I'll protect like so. So the stones are dead. And now just to make certain that Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just play here. There we go. And now that's captured. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <clears throat> and back to defending. Just watching the shapes. Watching the shapes. Okay, he kicked me. I'll make sure he can't go under him. Since he can't, since I can't go under him right here, make sure that I can at least make sure he can't go under me in exchange, right? That makes sense? Um, not sure where to play, so I'm just gonna give him Sente. There you go. I won't try to live in his corner. I might Hane, though. I might Hane. Not a bad player, though, trying to, um... Oof, he's ranking down. He's got some large moves, which is good. Large moves are good. Um... Endgame. A little bit large. Getting kind of big. And maybe I'll lightly poke at a shape point here. Something a bit like this. I'm directly poking his elephant eye. We should probably like hit me. Probably this way. To fix the shape. Here, here, here. And then he should be okay. Then I think he should be okay. 
I guess he could jump out too, because that's only one stone. He could jump out if he feels uncomfortable. And then if I play here, he could just play here and I go down. It's only one stone, technically. You sent to play larger move elsewhere. Yeah, it's playable. Certainly playable. Seems to be doing some think. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Guess he counted. End of the game. Interesting. All right, then. Well, let's go over this game real quick. So what happened here is he played a specialty move for his um, fifth move, right? Specialty move. It's not an enclosure. It's not a base for these two stones. He's going into a framework. Which, don't get me wrong, you can do, but we usually see it, like, here instead, right? You approach, get your answer, and then play here. You don't approach, get your answer, commit again, and then play elsewhere. Because then if your opponent plays here, we could usually play here instead, because our opponent still has to 3-3 in order to make sure we can't, if we hadn't made this exchange. Right, we get pincered, we can play away. And there's still corner stuff available. So we can be light, be light here. And then if our opponent plays here, we can do... We can do this kind of deal. Or we can jump out, or we can ignore it again. And just keep play, playing larger moves as our opponent takes a couple of stones that we don't care about. I mean, all these things are possible. This, I... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know why you don't do this. Because you just go, like, beep, bop, spoop. And then you're screwed, right? Either this stone's dead, or these stones are dead. Because you play here, and then you play there. Or you play here. And then you play there. And then the game just ended because that's way too good of a result. White's ahead. Very much so. This isn't bad. He's looking after his stuff. Now he's building. Now he's building some more. But, I mean, there's weak points all over the place, right? There's weak points here. There's stuff in the top. That it just sadly wasn't a large move. He could do this. And really start growing. That'd be good. Right? If I play here, he can shoulder at that one too. And really just try to grow that middle. It's playable. But this is like trying to be greedy, but you're kind of being passively greedy. And that just means your opponents start looking for ways to immediately start reducing you because you're not putting pressure on them so they can think about how to reduce what you got. So I did the first thing. The Mulhane. I had a two stones because he didn't protect. And right away, that's a lot of territory. And I can't click the review button. No, wait, I can do end review. And then I can click the review button? No, I can't. Never mind. No review button there. I was going to... See how much... Uh, Territory was actually on the board at that point, but it's okay. Um, this is tough, but we need to turn here and make it harder for our opponent to try to do something. Instead, it wasn't. And that's a really big issue. To be fair, that move probably also could have been played over here. That'd be really huge. Two sides while he gets this. Nah, too far ahead. This was unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Nowhere to go. If you want to be aggressive again, you could play something like this one. Because this is probably going to die now. See? 
Nice and dead. Nice and dead. Nowhere to go. Just not alive anymore. And I think that about covers again. So that's my base, my back to basic series for the day. Hope you enjoyed. Those of you who are around the DDK range, haven't forgotten about you, proving, haven't forgotten about you. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.